Hey, welcome to the Electronics Lab. In a previous video, I used mesh current analysis to look at this circuit here. And I use mesh current analysis to come up with three different equations that are in terms of the three currents of the, of the current loops, I1, I2, and I3. Now in this video, I wanna go through a few methods to show you how to solve this set of linear equations using different software tools. And one of the first steps when solving these sets of linear equations is to take these equations and put them into a matrix form that looks, I mean, the general form of it is AX plus B, where A is the coefficient matrix, X is your vector of unknowns, in this case it's going to be I1, I2, and I3, and B are the, the answers, basically. And so A is a, in this case, is going to be a three by three matrix that's made up of the coefficients in this equation. So it's going to look like this. X are the things we're trying to figure out. And in our equations, we call them I's, I1, I2, and I3, because these relate to the current. And then that equals zero, zero, 24. So there's my B vector. So in this form, AX equals B, we want to know what X is. Now, if this was just basic, basic algebra and these just represented numbers, we'd divide both sides by A and then X is equal to B over A. Well, these are matrices or vec and vectors. And so we can't divide by A, but what we can do is multiply by the inverse of A. So if we find the inverse of A and multiply both sides of the equation by that, a times the inverse of A, those cancel out, and what we end up with is X is equal to the inverse of A times B. Now the tricky part in doing all of this is figuring out what the inverse of A is. And there's a number of different tools, a number of different software packages that can then help you figure that out. We're going to look at three different applications today that can help us solve this, figure out what X is, or in our case I, and those applications are MATLAB, Excel, and a website. And we'll start with MATLAB, which certainly has the most matrix functionality of any of these applications, but it's also the most expensive, and so not everybody's gonna have access to MATLAB. So let's take a look at how we use MATLAB. Okay, here is my MATLAB command window, and it's just a couple of lines of code I need for solving that set of linear equations. First thing I'm gonna do is set up a couple of matrices. So here's my A matrix. So there's the first row of the A matrix separate rows with semicolons. So there's A. And then my B matrix, well, it's just a column. And I need columns, I need semicolons in between each one of these because each one of them is a different row. And then a couple of ways I can do it. One is I can say X is the inverse of A times B. And that gives me my values for X, 93.8, 77.2, and 136 milliamps. Or alternatively, I can say, I can use the Linsolve equation. Oops, Linsolve. And I get the same thing. Very simple. Define A, define B, take the inverse of A, multiply by B, and that gives me X. So quite simple to do with MATLAB, just a few lines of code. But as I mentioned, if MATLAB is a fairly expensive software package, so not everybody's going to be able to afford to get it. One software application that many people do have access to is the Microsoft Office Suite, which includes Excel. And you can actually solve this equation using, using Excel. So let's take a look at how to do this with Excel. Okay, I've got a blank Excel spreadsheet here, and I'm going to be using Excel to figure out the value of X, my AX equals B set of linear equations. My A matrix is, looks like this, which is the set of linear, set of coefficients for the linear equations. And then my B matrix looks like this. And then remember, I'm trying to figure out the values for X. Well, in order to get X, I need to figure out the inverse of this A matrix first. And in Excel, the matrix inverse function is just called minverse for matrix inverse. And then I need to give it the range of values that I want to invert. In this case, it's going to be B1 to D3. And it fills in the 
matrix for me automatically. Now in order to get x, x is equal to the inverse of a times the b matrix. So all I need to do is use the, is, all I need to do is multiply those two together and it's not a normal multiplication, it's a matrix multiplication, so I'm going to call it m mult, and you can see here that's going to multiply array 1 by array 2. Array 1 is the inverse A matrix, so I can tell it says I need to use from B6 to D8, that's matrix 1, and matrix 2 is G1 to G3. So I'm going to multiply those two matrices together and that will give me the X. And there are my values for x. And in this case, remember, these are actually the currents. So current 1 is 93.8 milliamps, current 2 is 77.2 milliamps, and current 3 is 136 milliamps. And that's all you need to do in Excel to solve a set of linear equations. So you can see, also fairly easy to do with Excel, but again, not everybody has access to Excel. I mean, maybe you do have it, but it's on your laptop and you don't have access to your laptop right now. But if you do have access to the internet and you have a mobile device, there are a number of different web pages that can solve this kind of thing for you. And all I did was Google matrix calculator and I chose the first hit, which turned out to be matrixcalc.org. So let's take a look at how matrixcalc.org can solve this for us. So here's the website matrixcalc.org and there's a number of different things you can do in this matrix on this website. The, there's a matrix A and a matrix B and you can do some arithmetic with them. You can find the determinant, find the inverse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter, enter the values for A into matrix A here. And I'll enter the values into matrix B as well. And, and so what I need to do is I need to figure out what the matrix, the inverse of matrix A is and then multiply that inverse of A by matrix B and that will give me X. So I've entered a matrix A, all I need to do is click find the inverse, and you can see down here I've got the inverse of it. Um, I've had to set it up to give me five decimal points and, and to dis actually display decimals because deep by default it'll display it in, in fractions. And these you can see are the same numbers as when we use Excel and when we use MATLAB. Unfortunately this insert A doesn't work to, to insert A back into matrix A. I have to actually go through and delete all of matrix A. And now the matrix A is empty, I can insert this into A. And now that I have the inverse of A here and B here, if I multiply, the answer that it gives me will be X. And there's the values for X, 93.79 milliamps for I1, 77.24 milliamps for I2, and 136.09 milliamps for I3. So like I said before, matrixcalc.org was just one of the first hits when I Googled matrix calculator. I like the way that it works for the application that we have here with solving a, a simple set of linear equations in a 3 by 3 matrix. And I'll leave it up to you to decide which of these three methods, or perhaps your own method, you prefer the most. So now you've got an idea of some of the software tools that can help you solve a set of linear equations like this that maybe came from mesh current analysis. We looked at MATLAB, Excel, and matrixcalc.org, but of course there's lots of other different software applications that can do this solution for you as well. So let me know in the comments below which of those three you prefer, or if you have your own preference that's not, not in that list of the three, those three applications. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time.